hospitals are taking advantage of a lot of women and it pisses me off that it's even gotten this far and that it's even allowed legally. <sighs> a little bit of background about me before I get into the video. I decided after my last hospital birth, which was my first hospital birth, that I wanted to have a home birth and that's how it was gonna be. I'm excited to be going through this process. Stay tuned for the rest of this video so that you can see more um, information on why I chose to have a home birth. If I go fast or slow, I'll always be on the rise. I know that it's just a surprise when they see a young rise. Hey y'all, it's Envisionisha back at it again with another video on my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel and if you are returning welcome back i know it's been a little minute but today i'm coming with a new video basically explaining five or so reasons why i'm choosing to have a home birth i'm currently 27 weeks pregnant and i will show some footage of my belly later on of how i look at 27 weeks but basically i want to do this video just to get information out there about normalizing natural births and not necessarily being afraid of the process. A little bit of background about me before I get into the video. I decided after my last hospital birth, which was my first hospital birth, that I wanted to have a home birth and that's how it was gonna be. I couldn't settle for another hospital birth because in my opinion, based on my experience, I just, I just couldn't see myself going through it again. I'll go more into details about what uh, caused me to feel that way, but I definitely decided after having a hospital birth for my first child that this would definitely be the route that I'm taking for all of my future children. So my first reason why I chose to have a home birth is because I didn't want any unnecessary intervention. For my last birth, which is my first birth ever um, with my daughter, we were in the hospital and I already decided months prior, probably even before I got pregnant with her, that I would have a natural birth. When I got to the hospital, when it was that time to deliver, when I was in active labor, I kept on getting the question of, do you want the epidural? Do you want the epidural? And it's like, I'm going through a process right now. I don't even want to be bothered with talking to other people besides like, I didn't want to talk to my fiance, so I'm not even gonna say besides my fiance because I didn't want to talk to him. So imagine a stranger coming up to you many times throughout your delivery process or your labor, your laboring, asking you a question that you've already answered multiple times. It's just, it's overwhelming and it can be very pressuring to kind of like fall for that. And I already knew what I wanted, so they couldn't even you know, come at me with that, but it's just annoying. Like, for the people that have already set their minds to basically have a natural birth, it can deter those that are weaker um, and mentally during that process, especially since you're more vulnerable, since you're in pain. Because, girl, labor is painful. The less intervention, the better for me. And I think every woman should have that decision and not necessarily be pressured during that time when they're trying to be focused on a mission to try to deliver a child. You understand? Not even try it because they are delivering a child. The first reason why I chose a home birth is because I didn't want any unnecessary pressure of getting drugs in the hospital. So the second reason why I chose to do a home birth rather than a hospital birth is because of the convenience of being at home in a comfortable environment rather than being at a unknown place, like not necessarily unknown, just like in an unknown room with an unknown couple of nurses that switch shifts all the time. It's just, that's not the environment I wanted. I wanted to be more comfortable. And with COVID going on, it's like, if I don't have to deal with all these strict rules, I don't want to. Um, and I don't want to just put myself in a more vulnerable place, I guess you could say, because that's where like hospitals are for sick people, basically. And I don't, I don't want to be in that. I just personally, I just don't think birthing should be in a hospital per se. 
unless there are um, risks associated with your pregnancy. So like if you're a higher risk, um, then it makes sense. You shouldn't have to go to a hospital. The system has instilled so much fear in women to feel like they need the extra assistance when everything can be done at home. It's nice to have an option, don't get me wrong. Because there are some situations that need the extra intervention. But for those that don't need it, I just feel like it's extremely unnecessary. And then you can also build a relationship with your midwife or doula. So regardless of if you're in the hospital or not, your doula is always going to have that relationship with you. Or you can build that relationship with your doula. So the third reason I wanted a home birth is because I wanted the option to use water birthing as a pain relief technique. And the time that I had my daughter in the hospital, they did have, I believe, one or two rooms with a water birthing tub. And I guess it, based, it was based on availability or when you were, you know, going into labor. If it was available or not, you can use it. When I went in, they were not available. It just sucked that I didn't have that option to do so, you know, to kind of relieve that pain going through contractions with water rather than, you know, not having anything at all. Besides, like, I think I had a ball. I think they had a ball there. Um, but yeah, so I kind of wanted to have that as an option. And even if I don't deliver in the birthing pool, at least I can use it for a pain relief technique. A couple of disturbances that I've encountered in the hospital with my first child was um, the nurses switching shifts and introducing themselves, switching rooms. So I don't know if you're aware, but just in case you aren't, when you give birth, you're in a room for labor and delivery. But when you have your baby, they switch you over to another room Usually it's not the same room and it's not in the same area. It is in the, probably in the same building because that's how it was for me. But just the inconvenience of just moving all your stuff into a whole nother room and a whole nother area, being reintroduced to other people. It's just, I don't even care about meeting other people. I don't, at that moment, I just wanted to be me, my baby, my doctor, and my fiance. That's it, period. No extra people. I don't care for anybody extra. And, and you know what I'm saying? Um, if family wanted to visit, that's lovely, great, cool. But all these other strangers, like, if I need you, I'll call you. You understand? There was several times that the, I don't know if it was the nurse or the lactation um, consultant or lactation assistant. They basically came in a room in the middle of the night. And I think they were just checking on how many times. Whew. How many times my daughter peed or pooped? I guess it's just protocol to have a certain amount of pees and poops before getting out of the hospital. So they woke us up several times for that. So stuff like that, I kind of just wanted to just avoid all in all if I could. I think the last thing was just the fact that we were waking up like six o'clock in the morning and not just because of our baby, like our baby was sleeping. But the fact that they were doing yard work outside, like construction work, and all you hearing is banging, boom, 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 or like drilling, and I'm just like, sis, I just had a baby. I want some sleep, especially since my baby's sleeping. All extra noise is just out of this world. If you don't have that experience or didn't have that experience, maybe that's a good thing because I can't, I can't tolerate that kind of crap. I just, I just can't. And if I have a choice not to, I'm gonna choose not to. So yeah, that's what I'm choosing to do. That's my fourth reason why I'm choosing to do a home birth rather than a hospital birth. Oh, before I move on, they tried to take my baby away from me and I did not like that. Especially as a first time mom, I think they wanted to give, them a, give my baby a bath. And I'm just like, no, you could do that in here, sis. Like, you do not need to take my baby into a whole other room that I do not have access to. Like, no, 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 this is my baby. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where you're from. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it's not a, like a doctor or anything. I think it's the nurse. And I don't even know the nurse like that. So it's like, so I don't want people to take my baby, especially no strangers. I know they're nurses, but, and they're really nice people. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say they're not, but, I just didn't like that. That doesn't make me feel comfortable. The fifth and final reason why I'm having my home birth is because um, I would like to keep my placenta and I understand the benefits 
of having my placenta and utilizing my placenta rather than donating my placenta forcefully. So for a lot of these hospitals in the United States, they give you a hard time or they don't give you the option at all to keep your placenta. The hospital that I had delivered my daughter in, they said, oh, you can't keep that. That's That goes into our lab or something like that, they said. I'm like, hold up, wait, pause. At that time, I knew it was an important um, part of the birthing process, but I didn't know what they were doing or why they were doing it, and I didn't understand the severity of it. So basically a placenta is an organ that you create for your baby to receive nutrients and oxygen. And basically these hospitals are taking advantage of women that are uneducated on the fact that the placenta is being sold for monetary value. And basically that's something that you've created. So the fact that they, they don't even give you the option to have your placenta and do what you want with your placenta like you created that bad boy you understand what i'm saying so i didn't i didn't like that but i didn't want to go through finding another hospital and i already had a good doctor or midwife at that point basically the hospitals take it so that they can sell it for probably top dollar and rich people can utilize it because it has healing mechanisms um, so like if you have like wounds or diabetes, stuff like that, it can ultimately heal a person. Um, so it has a lot of, it has a lot of value and I just don't appreciate not having the option to choose to donate or not. They just tell you, oh no, you can't have your, like your stuff. I was about to curse, but <laughs> you can't have your stuff. Like sis, that's mine. That's mine. So there are a lot of benefits to keeping your placenta. It's supposed to help with postpartum depression. It's supposed to um, increase your milk flow. And I definitely will be breastfeeding. I breastfed my child, my first child, sorry, until she was about one and a half, I would say. Probably a little bit over one and a half. And it's yours. So you should ultimately have that decision to choose whether or not to keep your placenta. Okay, sis? Um, so if you don't know that already, please please educate yourself more if you don't want to just take my word for it that was like one of my main reasons so i saved the best for last but i'm so looking forward to having a home birth and being in my own home and my home comfort so i will keep you in tune with the rest of my journey um like going forward as far as like what it's like having a home birth and like other things related to home birth as far as like what we need to prepare, how we found our midwife, stuff like that. If you all are interested, make sure to definitely comment down below. And if you found any of this information useful, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It definitely helps out with other people finding my videos and growing my channel. So if you can help me, help you sis. Girl, yes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned for some future videos related to my second pregnancy and yeah, more about having a natural birth. So, see you soon. Bye. Bonus. One more thing. Another reason why I chose a home birth yep. is because I did not enjoy the fetal monitoring and being hooked up to an IV since there was no medical need. As for those of you that just couldn't choose to hold on I'm headed on my own path and there is no need for you to come and find me